So therefore, this centuries-old pre-Islam code of life, Pashtunwali, indicates to me that they're not going to change, and all of a sudden, actually, let's revise Pashtunwali. They're not going to do that. It's in their DNA. You know, they're, they're Pashtuns first before they are Muslims, before they are Afghans, before they're anything else. And therefore, that tenant of revenge makes me really fearful about the future because that revenge will be, if you are a former interpreter, let's just say, and you've extracted yourself from the country that left family members behind, well, unfortunately, that debt gets passed on to that family. So it runs deep. And that understanding is really important for us to know about the longer term implications of, of Yes, we can be humanitarian and we want Afghans to be in safety and be welcome in this country. But those left behind too, we shouldn't lose sight of that.